All right, guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we got a 2018 Honda Pilot. Oh, we're gonna replace the front brake pads and rotors. On the opposite side, we had a seized caliber slider pin. Check that video out. Customer states this is the third time he probably changed the rotors. These aren't the original ones, so they keep warping, they keep overheating. So if your slider pins are jammed up, it's gonna be trouble, okay? Anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that bolt right there, that little screw. This is 17 millimeter. We're not gonna take off this one, but we are gonna take off this one. And then in the back, you have a 21 and a 21 for the bracket. They're all gonna come out and we're gonna replace these passive orders together. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn this baby a little bit like that. You could do that. And I'm gonna go get a 17 millimeter and a 20 millimeter. We're gonna bang this baby out really quick. Okay, so I'm down here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this little guy. The caliper should come out and Hey, at least this slider pin is good right here. It's moving. We're gonna lubricate it, make it nice and smooth. It's kind of rough, but take off the brake pads, take off the hardware. Yeah, there you go. The slider pin here is good. So this is nice and perfect for us. So we still need to take off this caliper slider pin. It's kind of jammed up because they got like a little rubber boot. But once we put some lube on it, we should move around pretty easy. Uh, so, we're going to take off the two bolts on the bracket here. So there's two bolts I showed you, 21 millimeters. One. Two. This baby comes right off. It's got the bolts in it. One, two, both of them coming out, 17 millimeters. I'm going to put these babies to the side. So the next step here is, we're going to come this way a little bit. I'm going to show you guys a little trick here, okay? So to take off this little screw, you need a punch, but we're not going to use a punch today. What we got here is, we got a hammer, okay? So what we're going to do is, we're going to put this baby on the opposite side from right over here, and we're going to bang on it. And then we're going to try to take this guy off, and it should come off really easy. So what you did is you created a lot of vibration for this thing to move around. And the screw comes right off. No need to punch there. Even though we had a punch, we didn't use the punch. Okay, so I had a fire inspection. That's done and we passed. There you go. The motor comes off. This is where the critical parts start. We're gonna need a wire brush here. And uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep this, okay? So what you wanna do here is you want to clean this up, okay? To get a good surface for the rotor to sit flush, you could use a machine, but like I said, if you guys don't have machines at home, wire brush is the way. I use it all the time, okay? And the reason why it looks like that is because nobody ever took care of it. So if you take care of this, you shouldn't have to come to a point where this thing is going to look like a crispy Pop-Tart. Um, do the same thing here. Just file this baby down if you need to. Use a file if you need to, if it's really corroded and use a mask, this thing is harmful. And uh, do the same thing on the opposite side. And that's how you're gonna prep your bracket and get yourself a parts cleaner. Right here. Just a little bit on the caliper there. Here and there. Now, one more step, one more step. One more step that I can do for the customer, but if you don't have air, that's fine. I like to blow here, here, and here, okay? It's all a done deal here. So, what we're gonna do next is, we're gonna lubricate the hub. We're gonna lubricate the hub, just a small amount of grease, just go all around. Uh, you can use any type of grease, just don't go crazy. A lot of people will put so much in it, it's not, it's not gonna get compressed, okay? I do have a little video where I talk about should we put like a little bit of thickness of oil or greasing instead of greasing, oil would work better. So, since this is rusted, I'm gonna go all around a little bit so this can be maintained for a better spam of its life. There you go, okay? We're still waiting for the parts, so 
fire inspection guy came back i had another permit that he never looked at it anybody but they looked at it for me but i'm good there but anyways um we got this guy right here and we're gonna compress this piston so we can put a pad there and we're gonna use this, C, uh, this clamp press but you can use two c clamps if you like i use only one of this and i try to hold one side and once one side gets compressed i switch over to the other side and i do the same thing and this piston is gonna come out a bit but it's fine once it grabs it okay let me fix this up and once it goes in bada bing bada boom there you go I switch it back so it's just about going back and forth and there you go perfect there you go and bada bing bada boom okay okay I, my hands kind of hurting but it shouldn't be that hard to compress this baby in so this is all done and set waiting for the new pieces and we're gonna put everything back together once we get the new parts okay so we got brake pads we're gonna use these evolutions okay it's the part number um we're gonna use this good stuff lecture coated voters okay part number on these this is for the front and in here you got quarters this is what they look like let me get this out so there you go baby's out so move the bag so it got oil all around so what you want to do is get a clean cloth spray some park cleaner you want to clean the heck out of this water if you don't do that your brakes are not gonna work car is not gonna stop let me give it another touch so clean this baby up really well flip it over same thing on the other side once you're done you're taking the car for test drive uh, you probably see some smoke and stuff that's fine you're gonna smell it a bit that's fine because there's still oil residues internally in the winds of this water so there you go bada bing bada boom we're gonna take this baby, put it onto the vehicle. I did one side, so we got uh, brake pads. That's why that box was uh, just empty. So we got the hardware, and it's gonna come with four of these retainers, these spring-loaded retainers. Remember, they was missing. They wasn't even on the vehicle. It's time for us to finish this job up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this oval hole. We're gonna line with the hole off the bolt right there. That's where it's gonna go. go we're gonna take the little screw we're gonna put the little screw in next and once you catch the threads it's gonna suck the water inside and don't worry you don't gotta be crazy hard on it that's fine that's perfect right there we're gonna come to this side next what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put the bracket on okay so the bracket needs a little bit of lubrication and we're gonna put the hardware on on this baby as well Okay, so we're gonna take this good old grease. I got a video just on greasing. Uh, let me put this on right here. So what you wanna do here is, you wanna take a tap of greasing here. Doesn't have to be a lot, just, just enough. So the shims can just sit on it. There you go. If you put too much on it, and when you try to put the um, the hardware on it's gonna squeeze and come out so you just want to take the hardware next and stick that in just like that it should be nice and flush it shouldn't stick too much there you go perfect we're gonna do the same thing on the other side there you go okay so there you go perfect and it should sit flush so if your brakes are wrong your kit is wrong everything's gonna be wrong so we're gonna take the two 17 millimeters. We're gonna put these babies on. And we're gonna lock up both of these bolts. I do not have torque specs here, so I'm sorry guys. So what we're gonna do is, this is a 19 millimeter. Yep. We're gonna bang both of these in and lock them up real nice. Go evenly. That's it, bang. Zoom. 
Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna come out this way a little bit. We're gonna come out this way a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go get uh, more greasing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up this hardware here, the slider pin, and pull out the bottom slider pin, and clean it off. And guess what? We're gonna go back to the silicone based grease, which I love. Uh, a little bit on this, a little bit on that. Smudge it around. You don't wanna put too much either. Too much is no good. It'll just go to the end and sit in the end. I like to never put greasing on the tip because the tip will cause restriction. So again, here's another, I did a video before and I'm adding this to it. So remember, this slider pin never came off. This slider pin sits up on the top. So it's the one that has the little rubber boot on it. So that's what's gonna, the rotor's gonna come this way. It's gonna be the first point. Oh, it works pretty well that way, okay? So that's how that's gonna go. So our next step here is, uh, let me make some space back here. So these brake pads are gonna go on. This is a brake wear indicator sensor. It goes on the back. I usually keep it on the top if the rotor is in the front, if the caliper is in front of the rotor. So as the rotor turns back, it hits that and makes a noise, okay? Going forward, it will make it too, but going back, it will give you a better indication. So what we're gonna do is we're taking that dark colored grease and you wanna put a little, little grease in here, okay? Uh, if you watch my other videos, you will see how I try on the brake pads first. The reason why that is because um, sometimes your brake pads won't go in nice and easily. These I know they're because they're good. I already tried them on and they go in nicely. If they don't go in nice, you want to file a little bit of here, just the paint, and this baby goes right on. So your brake pad should be free like that, okay? Easy to move around. Anyways, um, everything is pretty much prepped and done. We're going to take these two little retainers. What you want to do now is you want to put your upper caliper slide a pin in make sure that boot doesn't bother you too much there you go if you're gonna let it sit there make sure it doesn't come down and hit your hand so try to try to keep your arm this way and you also want to hold the brake pass as you put both of these retainers on very important and critical part okay it works like a spring loader what it does is it helps the brakes um, come off the rotor so it doesn't warp and bend and overheat your water okay very critical component. You wanna grab this. A lot of times I like to put greasing here, but the customer doesn't want any greasing here. So what we're gonna do is, I got a little bit of issue. This piston needs to be compressed in a little bit more. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna release my pins here, cause I know it's gonna shoot the, the caliper out. I mean the brake pads out. So I'm gonna go a little bit more in on this piston. Let's see if I can do it without having a pad there. Right, so one comes in, the other one goes out. So let me see if I can do it this way. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to get a brake pad there. So one of the pistons is sticking up a bit. So I'm gonna compress it to get them both flushed in. And there we have it. Bada bing, bada boom. Gonna have to get the pins in one more time. One and two. There you go. Make sure it's in. Same thing in the bottom. One and two. Bada bing, bada boom. Bring your caliper down slowly. Make sure you don't hurt your hand. And make sure you don't damage anything, especially this shims around it. So we're gonna put this bolt in the bottom. Once you're done and completed the whole job, what you wanna do is, you wanna make sure you pump the brake pedal before you start the vehicle. And also, make sure this bolt is tight. You're not gonna see me do it, but make sure it's tight. And uh, make sure your line here is nice and straight. I see people leave it like bent and twisted. That's gonna cause restrictions. Anyways, thank you for watching my video, guys. There you have it. A well done job. If you wanna put a little bit of greasing here, do so. Thank you for watching.